subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Today on Lady Mary Bath, we are previewing an estate sale. I will take you along each step of the way, including the last day of the sale, Half Price Frenzy. Come on in and I will show you around. We'll see all the treasures that await. The Houston Estate Sale Lady of Hill Williams Estate Sale Company has invited me to take you along for an estate sale preview. I've never done this before, it's such a privilege, and we get to see everything up close before the sale date. And as you know, the first day is always full price, and then it goes 25% off the second day, and usually half price on the last day. And I always head to the dining room first, look at all these beautiful things, and I see a chinoiserie plate. The dining room has some beautiful furnishings and some nice tabletop items. And this dining room table is the Williamsburg style from Stickley. That's a very well-known furniture manufacturer and it is $725. What a deal. And back here we have a china cabinet. It has such fine detail and it is an excellent brand. It is American Drew and it is cherry. It is $1,450. And the first day of the sale, I think that's still a really good price because this sells for about $6,000. And there's so many things to see, lots of artwork, some beautiful lamps, floral arrangements. And I'm anxious to see what sells on the first day. And let's take a look at the study. I see some lovely decorative objects, some artwork, and look at that beautiful desk. That's quite a large lantern. You'd really need a good spot for that. And I'm seeing lots of things that I can imagine in my home and on my table, $22. That would be great with silk florals. Could even put hand towels in there for a bathroom. And bookends are great. You can use them as doorstops as well if they're heavy enough. And this cloisonne vase is the right color. I love the blue and gold. It's $48 on the first day of the sale. And I think if you had a covered outdoor area, that large lantern might work well for you. It's 185. I've never seen anything so big. The study has some interesting decorative items, including these books that have been repurposed into decorative objects. You can use these as risers or even put them on a bookshelf. This is War and Remembrance. I think the lady of the house and I shopped at the same decorator store that was for the trade only because I do recognize lots of pieces. And this bamboo chair is $185. It is beautiful. I love the feel of it and it adds some interest. So you can always find a lone chair to add to your home decor. And lots of great items here and I'm anxious to see what sells the first day. This I think is a deal at $10. The bamboo chair is really a neat piece. I think that could be a lone item you could put in the corner of a room. And this is sort of a French provincial with a tapestry. I remember this in the probably late 80s. Foley's department store sold this. Now we're in the living room and they are still preparing items for the auction. The day before is always hectic. I'm so glad they let us come in today. And the Brahmin handbags are definitely of interest. I did preview the auction on their website. I will link it in the description below. And I had my eye on that Brahmin bag for my friend. She was looking at that. And this is a pretty one too. That's definitely my color. And look at that little coin purse for $4. The prices seem to be fair. If you keep in mind retail, uh, which, you know, if it's brand new with the tag, you could compare it to retail. Otherwise it's pre-owned. And that is quite the collection of painted ponies. The Kenneth Cole bag I think would be great for Europe. You could walk through Paris with this crossbody bag and then you could go out for an evening dinner. 
As customers walk in the door tomorrow, I think this will be definitely a hot spot. Brahmin handbags. And you know, every auction company gives a preview to those that sign up for their estate sale notices. So I will link in the description below the estate sale company so that you can follow them as well. This is 195, it appears to be new. And there's also one that's a bit more affordable that is the classic brown. It's $85 and the wallet is 30. Those are really good prices. I think they will sell very quickly tomorrow. And there's also Brighton handbags. That's a very well-known brand. And over here, also from Brighton, is a cute little purse for $28 and an evening bag that's beaded, Valerie Stevens brand, for $10. So those are all good deals. And there are also some painted ponies. This is a collectible, and it looks like they all have a Christmas theme. Most of the living room furniture has not yet been priced, but we can certainly take a look at it and then check back tomorrow. And this trio of prints, I think would be a great addition to any home, whether it's in the hallway, living area, or even a bathroom. These are European cities. They are signed and numbered, double matted, with lovely frames. And keep in mind, anytime you frame something this size, it would be minimum $300 each. So that's gonna be a good deal for sure. Lots of fashion jewelry. This is great for traveling. You can throw a necklace in your suitcase to go with your outfit. You don't have to worry about securing it, especially if you're flying. And most of these are from Chico's for $10 each. And keep in mind the price goes down as the sale goes along. That would be a really great one. You could even double wrap that and make it a shorter one. Something to think about for travel. And Sid Dickens tiles are always a good find. I've sold these on eBay and I do check charity resales, even found some at Goodwill. And they sell for about 125, but if they are retired, then they are worth probably three to five times that. I found one at a charity resale for about $20 and I sold it for 150 online and I had several people contact me within minutes offering me $500 and I said, I'm sorry, I've already agreed to sell it. So I did learn my lesson with the Buy It Now selling a Sid Dickens on eBay. They are highly collectible and I think tomorrow the price is gonna be a little bit different. We'll take a look, I'll show you then. And those are really fun, you could put those in a bowl, on a mantle, or even on a dining table. You could get creative with that. It's a lovely coffee table. It's actually distressed. It's meant to look like that. So many great pieces of furniture here in this house. I think the lady of the house had really good taste. I especially like that couch. You could dress that up with pillows. And the velvet lampshades have my attention. Aren't those neat? And that's a great piece of furniture there too. So many wonderful things in this room. I think she was an animal lover. Big entertainment section, which of course could go in the living area too. Interesting that she had that in a bedroom. And don't forget about the accessories. The lamp is lovely and I do like that silk arrangement. And this piece would be great even for an entryway. You could remove that mirror and look at the storage for napkins. The bedroom has some fabulous furnishings from Ethan Allen, and even the luxurious bed linens are for sale, and they are from a designer called Austin Horn. I was not familiar with this before. It is definitely new to me, and this would sell for at least $1,000. So I'm anxious to see the prices that they put on. They are still working on that, and we will have to check back when we come back tomorrow. The sitting area off of the bedroom has some fine furnishings. This trefoil shaped side table is lovely and it even has a drawer here making use of the space. And this library table would work really well behind a couch. And it's great for this spot here too. And lots of accent pieces as well, the bookends and this needlepoint pillow with a bichon frise. I believe that's the right breed. And there's not a price on it yet. We'll find out when we come back tomorrow and lots of great items that I can imagine adding to your decor. Now let's go towards the bath and closet, and that's where you will see a lot of the wardrobe placed. There's a fur coat, and you know, of course it has to be your size and style when you're shopping, but you might find a fashion accessory. It doesn't have to just be a, a shirt or a pair of pants. It could be the belt, or it could even be a scarf, or maybe a kimono. She had lots of belts. 
That's from Brighton. I have the same one in black. And I did try on a couple of her belts. They were not quite my size, so I couldn't look any further on those, but some really great pieces. And you know, you're in Texas when the lady of the house has an extensive collection of cowboy boots. There are so many great belts here, and some of them still have the original price tags from Chico's or Brighton. This would dress up any outfit. So when you're in a state sale, think about that. You may avoid the closet because you're looking for home decor, but there are some great items and lots of jackets, pants, fun things. I did ask the estate sale manager if she allows customers to try on clothing and not really, but she did have a great tip. And that is, especially for a lady, you could wear leggings and a tank top. And maybe this time of year, if it's cool, put something over it. And that way you could step into the closet and try it on over your yoga pants and your tank top. And that way you don't need a dressing room and you can get a better idea if it fits. I love that tip. And keep in mind, at estate sales, there are obviously different styles, but you might find something that would work for many different occasions. Now let's go on to one of the guest rooms in the home. There's a mattress for sale. I did see that online when I previewed. And lots of accessories here. I know that she shopped in a store that I've been in many times. It's nearby. And again, something for every season. Look at those turkeys. And a nice collection of pottery. I really appreciate that this estate sale company merchandises and displays the items nicely. Most estate sales I go to, it's just more of a jumbled mess on a table. And they really do go all out. You feel like you're almost shopping in a retail store because you have things merchandised together and you can better imagine some styles that go. And this is an all-purpose piece that could go in so many different rooms of the house. And look at the great storage there. And Hooker Furniture, I've definitely heard of this company. It's quality. And that table really has my attention. Look at the detail. That is such a lovely piece. And tall candle holders. Those must be floor candle holders. Don't imagine you'd put that on a table. And you know, I love rose bowls. You could put tissues in there. I use that for my toothpaste and toothbrush, surprisingly. And Easter is almost here. Wouldn't that be perfect to pair with your white dinnerware? And that's from Pottery Barn. Love those plates. Some great finds here today. And lots of artwork and lamps with embellishments. You could set up a household with all the beautiful things here. And I'm enjoying this handcrafted Christmas tree skirt, but I don't see a price on it. But I can imagine that with my whimsical tree that I featured in my holiday home tour that was in my breakfast room. I'll have to wait until the first day of the sale to see what the price is. And welcome to the Christmas closet. There is so much to see, including those whimsical Lori Mitchell figurines. They are a unique twist on a fairy tale and nursery rhyme characters. And I see some Mark Roberts fairies, nativity sets. I am very impressed with a high-end Christmas collection. You know, every house usually has Christmas items. We'll see a lot more in the garage shortly. They have a few Mark Roberts fairies. These come in different sizes and highly collectible and lots of beautiful holiday linens as well. This table runner is exquisite, quite a fine quality. And you'll see lots of collectibles and some pillows and everything that you could ever imagine for the holidays. It's a great time to pick up some extra items for your holiday decor. The pillows make an easy switch from everyday to holiday. And there's something for everyone here. We have some more formal looking pillowcases and more casual that perhaps we're on a patio or a bedroom and there's lots of artwork here too there's just so much to see i'm glad to be able to preview it without crowds of people and i remember that oval piece from the email that they sent out get on their email list that way you can preview the auction online and get notified if there's one in your area this is the iris collection from crochet and keep in mind that's the first day of the sale price so you know we'll get more affordable and it's a great way to set up a household too or to maybe redo your guest room if you're looking for something that's more affordable and can give you a great look it, there's 
everything here today in a similar style, so that would be very cohesive. And here's some more pillows for every day. Oh, I'm eyeing those table runners too. And they're very well presented. Everything is clean and pressed on hangers. And a lot of times at estate sales, things are jumbled and in bins and boxes and not priced. And I can really appreciate how they present things. I have this identical table runner, you probably saw at my holiday home tour, in a burgundy. And it's the Canaan Company runner, $48. I paid over $100 at a decorator store that was for the trade only. So even though that's pricey for me, I think that's a fair price. I'm going to think about that. And my friend likes the Easter one. And those gingham napkins I actually dreamed about after previewing. I hope I get these. Lots of seasonal tea towels as well. Those napkins just spoke to me. I love these for spring. It's a very casual look. Pair that with white dishes. And this reminds me of Williams Sonoma. It's eight napkins and a round tablecloth for $40. I'm going to keep checking back on that. And these tassels are great for wardrobes, to hang around a knob, and even for lamps. I use that for mine to give a little accent. Here's the kitchen and breakfast area. That mural is really getting my attention. And I think that pig could be a lot of fun too for the kitchen. It's an intarsia design on that mural. That is a great wall statement piece. And I usually go towards the kitchen and dining room looking for dishes. At this estate sale, they really don't have much. I think the family has probably taken most of that. And that would be a lot of fun too. And the only pattern that I saw here was this Mikasa, which was probably her everyday pattern. I've not seen this before. Country Classics. Hmm. That's interesting. And then Arthur Court beverage dispenser. Those are really expensive. So maybe that's comparable to a pre-owned piece you would find on eBay. And Nambe is a company out of New Mexico. I have several pieces of theirs. $14 for four napkin rings. I think that's an excellent price, especially if you get it on a markdown. If you're willing to wait, it's always a gamble because you might wait and someone buys it right in front of you. They do have a lot of melamine. So if you're serving poolside and you want to stay away from the ceramics and glass, then that's a great option. She had lots of that and cookbooks. And even Martha Stewart is making an appearance today with our auction preview. A gathering of friends. I've seen this throughout the South in gift shops. I love Paula Deen. I have one of her books from her early days like that. River Road, that's another good one from the Junior League of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And lots of pots and pans too. Great for setting up a new household or a college apartment. And you might be familiar with Round Top. The Round Top collection is made in our area of Texas and it is very popular, whimsical yard art. You can even put this in a planter and I'm sure her home looked beautiful for all seasons. And the prices are pretty fair, especially if you go on the second day of the sale for 25% off. I have a lot of friends who have the Round Top collection. And of course, they got to remember Valentine's, Easter. It's not just Christmas. And this toucan is fun. That Talavera pottery from Mexico. Love that. Those are usually very expensive. And that table is nice too. And we have a little lamb. I wonder if she kept that in the backyard for 175 and I'm sure that's really heavy too. Did you notice the Rubbermaid containers? Those storage bins are so practical. I think I might try to get some of these when I come back the first day of the sale. And here you have a nice overview of the offerings. The outdoor furniture with the Sunbrella fabric is water resistant and actually fade resistant too. Now we are entering the garage where all seasons are represented. I don't think I've seen a private collection this large in one place. Oh, that's quite amazing. And then there's a lovely antique there as well. And these trees would be great to dress up or down. You can add any color to it. So keep that in mind when you're looking for holiday. You don't always want something full of color because you might change your focus. You could even do winter wonderland if it's just all green, add some white to it. Love this antique secretary. It's not yet priced. I'll have to keep an eye on that. And secretaries are also great for the bathroom too. You can fill it with towels. Maybe you just leave that part closed 
but that upper part would be great for some sundries. Here's some more trees. All four seasons are represented here with the estate sale finds. We've got a cute Santa and what a deal at $14. They have a pair of these Easter topiaries. They're $6 each. Wouldn't that be pretty on a tea table? It's never too early to shop for the next occasion or holiday. And they've got lots here. Let's take a look around at the Four Seasons. I'm just blown away with all of the collections. Even the 4th of July is represented today and so much for Easter. And Thanksgiving, of course, Halloween. I bet her home was lovely for every season. There's that 4th of July with Uncle Sam down there and the white deer. We have a white deer in Franklin, Tennessee that makes an occasional visit. My stepmother has written some books about him. That train would be fun near a Christmas tree. And these mud pie napkins are actually a pretty good deal for $5, especially if you can get it on the second or third day of the sale. I like the glass pumpkins. And we love Halloween, and these plates would be perfect for white dinnerware. You could use that as your salad plate or dessert plate. And that way you don't have to have a whole set of Halloween dishes, you just have some accent plates. And add these to the beaded placemats. Those are usually quite pricey when I find them in stores. So I think that's gonna be a really good deal. I don't think it's priced yet, but we'll find out. And I keep going back to Easter because it is coming up next. I really like those topiaries, so I'm gonna have to check back and see if they're available the first day of the sale. And the first day is always exciting. You'll see the crowds and things do start disappearing rather quickly. Those are $8 a piece retailed. So they are basically new with the price tags and they have priced it accordingly. I wonder if those will sell the first day. So many nutcrackers here. Makes you want to decorate for Christmas again, doesn't it? So that's for two pieces, so $16. And imagine if you get that half price day, that would be $8. This is the Fontanini set. I've not seen this stable before. That's an amazing deal. Princess Diana gave this set to her butler, Paul Burel. And I think I'm gonna take this home on the first day if it's still there. And look at the reeds. And those tartan plaid trees are catching my eye. I could have used those this past Christmas. And let's see, those are 12, retail was 26. I wonder if she even ever used them. And this piece I have, I might've put it in my coffee tea bar for the holidays. So you might wanna check that video. $12, I bought this at Hobby Lobby, I remember. The icicle trees, wouldn't that be great for winter wonderland? And they're plexiglass, acrylic. So very user friendly. And there's an overview of the seasonal look for the garage and some silk florals. I'm thinking I might grab some of these to feature in future segments when I do tablescapes. If you've ever shopped your local craft store for silk florals, you know that they are quite expensive. And this estate sale has a wonderful variety representing all the seasons, no surprise. This bunch of roses is only $8. And it's a great opportunity to add to your supplies so that you can create beautiful florals. If this is still here tomorrow, I will definitely take it home. Look at these green poinsettias, it looks like, with some sparkle. You could add the classic red to that for Christmas or even a touch of pink and change it up. So many beautiful silk florals. I sure hope that some of this is left by the time I get there on the first day of the sale. And that Christmas tree is nice too. And some patio items. These mosaic tables would be a great addition. And at $95 each, I think I would wait until half price day on those. So maybe, maybe that would be worth the wait. Love that blue with the bold colors. Isn't it lovely? With that lime background. Now it's the first day of the sale. I got here about an hour early and stood in line. And I actually made a beeline for the outdoors for those silk florals and some holiday. And now we'll walk through the house together and see what people have been buying. 
And let's check and see if we have a price yet on this gorgeous chandelier. And it looks like they have priced it at 1,150. Beautiful. And I don't recall seeing this on the preview day, but there was a lot still going on. They were very busy that day, getting everything priced and placed. An oval wood side table for 385. I'm thinking that's something you should consider half price day. And here are some of the silks that I have chosen. Look at those gorgeous roses. I will definitely feature some of these in a future tablescape episode. And I'm going to grab some Rubbermaid containers too. Storage bins you can never have too many of. And this reminds me of Easter in Germany. It's definitely a spring flower you see. So I'm going to grab that. So that's $6 for the bunch. And this bunny wreath, I'm so pleased for $8. Oh yes, I'm definitely going to display that this season. And Christmas, of course, is very popular. It's where everyone heads first. And I wonder if there's a price on this yet. This gentleman is not finding it. This is a quality piece. Really like that. And the soldiers. It'd be great on a buffet, wouldn't it? So many possibilities. And look at my fabric pumpkins and lots of silk florals that I'm taking home today. I hope I can fit all of this in my car. And I'm in a bit of a hurry because I'm trying to make it across town for a client luncheon. But you know what? I just had to come by and share this with you today for the opening day of the estate sale. And they are tallying up my purchases so that I can take that back inside and check out with my other items. They have lots of helpers today. Aren't those gorgeous? Oh. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. I might have to give some to friends. That's a lot of pumpkins. Now I'm back inside and you know, we came today for the brown Brahmin handbag and zip wallet for my friend. That's why we stood in line for over an hour and we got it as soon as we walked in. But I didn't hang a right and grab my books. I am really sad. I should have done that because I know I paid $28 at the designer store for those. That was a good deal. Shinoiserie plate is still there. And so are those Nambe napkin rings. I wonder why they didn't sell. Probably because no one knew what was inside the box. I probably should have grabbed those, but I got distracted. So much to see today. And here are those Sid Dickens tiles. Remember, always check on your phone to see if that's a retired piece. Just look it up. They've lowered the price, so it's 50. Okay. And the couch also has a price now. It's 750. And everything that she had was quality, so I'm sure that that's a fair price. This is the hold shelf. Always look for that when you go into an estate sale because you can't carry everything. And there you see some of my purchases. My friend is getting that handbag. And here are the books that I didn't get. Someone was faster than I was. And here are those runners I'm getting. My friend is getting the bunny one on the left and the Brahmin handbag and wallet. And in the master bedroom, it looks like really nothing has sold that I can see. Otherwise you would have a sold ticket on it. Now it's the second day of the sale and it is midday. So I have avoided the crowds and let's see what's left with 25% off of everything. And in this study, it looks like some of the artwork is missing along with some decorative accessories. And look, some of the books have reappeared. Maybe they changed their mind. Some of that embellishment is missing, but I could probably fix that. Definitely going to take these. They're great risers, by the way. And these bookends are heavy, would be perfect for a centerpiece. Put a planter in the center, really accentuate that. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. And it looks like they are busy, busy today. And some of the jewelry is still left. Some good options. Not much is sold in the kitchen, except for my Nambe napkin rings that I didn't get. And here the cabinet is missing that was housing all of the handbags and that artwork. Oh, it is lovely. And this is a neat piece. I think I might get this for my mantle. It's $7 and at 25% off. That's just a really good deal. And the Fleur de Lis bookends are lightweight. I will take these to our home in Germany. And in the bedroom, it looks like the linens are still available, unless it has a sold sign on it. If it's a heavy piece of furniture, then you know it hasn't sold yet. That piece has sold and the chair is missing from the sitting room, but it looks like a lot is still available. And I'm going to wait and hopefully get that planter 
for half price. So fingers crossed, we'll just have to wait and see. And at 25% off, the linens are more affordable, but with a high ticket item like that, I would wait until the last day of the sale if you're serious, because that brand is probably not recognized by most people. Austin Horn, I was not familiar with it. So we'll see if it sells at the end. And the closet was pretty much full. There really wasn't much that had sold. I think it's just maybe not the focus of the customers today. They're looking more at the furnishings. And it's funny what you see when a lot of items get sold, it opens up space for other beautiful pieces that you would have missed. And 25% off this Rose Bowl, love that, it's a great deal. And it looks like they have consolidated a lot of pieces in this room and the Christmas closet is mostly empty. There were some great pieces there, I have to say. Nice collection. The Naughty and Nice pillow, that's originally from Pier 1 Imports. I found one of those before Christmas for $1.50 at a charity resale. And we finally have a price on this tree skirt, $15 and 25% off. It's actually handmade and it is signed. It's quite a special piece there. I'm glad to have it. And I still like that green set, napkins and the round tablecloth. I'm gonna wait till last day. Those are some great pieces. Nice tabletop essentials and pillows. And look at that oval piece that is still there. It's always surprising what sells and that mural sold, I think they said as soon as the doors opened, that intarsia piece was so nice. And a lot is left in the kitchen still. The Arthur Court, you know, bigger ticket items don't move as quickly. And that's why you really want to come half price day. A lot has sold there in that curio cabinet. And they brought some more pieces out just to make it more visible for buyers. And outdoors, you can see that pretty much all the Rubbermaid containers are sold. That Sunbrella outdoor furniture, I don't think has sold yet, but all of the outdoor art work has, the yard art. And here we're pretty picked over in the seasonal section but there's still quite a few pieces to be had. Some wreaths. And again, it really just kind of makes other items more visible. There was just simply so much that you couldn't even see all the good stuff. Those tartan trees, still thinking about these. So it's 25% off today. Those sure are nice. And Raz is a brand that I've seen at the decorative store. Yeah, all the round top collection has pretty much sold. And those tables are still there. That would be a great addition to your patio. And there's the Brahmin handbag. Oh, I didn't even see it until now. They have hidden it here since they consolidated 195. It's now 25% off. And it's my color. Here you can see I'm getting those trees and the tree skirt, the books to use as risers and the bookends. Oh. And I have to get the Brahmin handbag. It's my husband's birthday, so why not treat myself, right? Love it. And it's the last day of this sale. Oh, look at the long line. I think I will come back later. Yes, I don't wanna wait in line, but I'll come by probably an hour before it's closing. We're walking in and it's 50% off. Half price day is always a great day. And look, they make everything so beautiful. The curio cabinet has sold and the chandelier. Let's see, let's see with those amber drops. Yes, it has sold. Someone got a great deal on that. And look, pretty much cleaned out. I don't see the lantern, maybe that's sold. Oh, there it is. They moved it around. They do such a good job merchandising everything. I thought about this planter, that's a lovely piece, but I really don't need it. So I'll pass on that. And someone just bought the couch. That's a great deal. Look at that hold shelf. I really wish I could have bought that. I think that's a nice neutral couch. And the bed linens still have not sold. What they usually do is they will either donate items or they have a liquidator that comes in and gives them one price for everything. See, there are quite a few pieces. And that bamboo chair is still there. And that's half price now. Mm, that's a great piece. I wish I had space. And this room, 
wow, the mattresses are gone, everything. There's hardly anything left. The closet's empty. You can really see what a difference it makes. And oh, is that my planter? I think it is, they've moved it. Look at that. So now it's 1750. Yes, I'm taking this. This will go on my entry table. Love the colors and I see the green napkins and tablecloth. Look at that. I'm definitely going to grab this and take it to Germany for my mother-in-law. And here you see that, you know, a lot of things have cleared out an hour to go in the estate sale. Martha Stewart is still there. She's standing strong and the backyard is pretty much empty. Look, everything is sold. And when you have bigger pieces, they give you until midweek that next week to pick it up if you need to arrange for delivery. So keep that in mind. You're not expected to take it out that day. And the garage, not much left. Those Easter plates are still there. A lot of things are picked over. Oh, there's a big tree. I don't remember seeing that. There was just simply so much stuff. And some more furniture that I didn't see. And look at this. The secretary does have a price now. It's $250. So now that's gone down to $125. And I did verify that. That is accurate. And it did not sell, as far as I know. And here we've got people waiting in line right before they close. So again, uh, furniture can get picked up a few days later, but you know, whatever's left, they probably will have a liquidator come in and just give them one price. And usually those items go to South Texas because I have helped in my friend's estate sale before and that's what I was told. Those pillows are nice. I'm looking for an oblong shaped envelope style pillow, a lumbar pillow for my entryway for my chair and that fits the bill. It's silk. It's luxurious and it's only $11 now. It's going home with me today. And that chair has gone down to $60. That's a really good deal. You could always recover it. And I'm really surprised that the China cabinet is still there on half price day. And I met a viewer while I was in here today. You might even see his reflection somewhere coming up. There he is. And he said he only shops on half price day. He previews it online, but doesn't come in until the last day of the sale. I wish I had a, another wall for that china cabinet. And the chinoise replate is still standing. Look at that. These are my purchases. That empty box right there for my Fontanini. I saw a lady holding it in the master bedroom and I said, oh, I bought the item for that. Thanks for joining me today for the estate sale and the progression of how each day is a whole nother experience. I will link the estate sale company in the description below, Hill Williams Estate Sales, and you can also catch them online. It's a great opportunity to add things to your home and you can even find some great gifts. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Bath. Elevate your everyday with estate sales.